All right, I believe this is a newer style 40 volt Ryobi battery. There's an old style where there's videos where people tried to solder a lead on the ground and uh, you know, use that as the ground and this as the positive and give the battery a little jump enough to put it in the charger and make it recognize it again. Um, that didn't work on this one. I guess it doesn't work on the newer style. And um, I wasn't sure how these batteries were laid out to kind of ignore some of this stuff and just check it. So this is just a look at how the battery's built so that you can find the right prongs to test some voltage and figure out where you may have a problem or need to charge. So uh, once it's pulled apart, well, there was uh, on this other side, there was basically four screws holding it together. They had like a safety piece of plastic over one of them so you couldn't see the screw. I had to pop that out of the way and then it just kind of clips on. But once you get it open, that's what it looks like. Uh, I broke it so that I can really look at it. So basically, <clears throat> this is a battery pack and this is a battery pack. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cells. And I believe it's 4.2 is your voltage per, I think these are 18650s probably. Um, so 4.2 times 10, this is 42 volts right here, which this is a 40 volt pack. So that sounds about right. And this would be another 40. So this battery is a 10S. So 10 times the 4.2, 42 and 2P, two parallel. So in other words, here's one, one, and here's two. And they hook these in parallel. And what that does is, so you'd have, I'm making up hours, one hour of runtime here and one hour of runtime here, totally separate. Because these are all ran in series, these are all ran in series. And now if you hook these two packs together in parallel, now all of a sudden you'll have two hours of runtime, still only at the 42 volts. So now we'll just take a look at how they how they're setting in here so you can start to test everything. <clears throat> so this is the charging side where you're slipping to the controller. And if we look here, now they they have some books on lithium where it kind of shows the layout of things. But if you look here, this one comes up and stops here this so it's going to be right here on the board I'm trying to look through the camera and it's hard to do right here on the board then this one right here actually kicks way over here and is is this back one i came in right here now this one comes off of right here. So if you're looking on the, the board, that one's straight up, that one's straight up. This one comes over past this one and kicks to the left. So we're like, this one is here, this one is here, and that one is here. And this one, you can see GND, this one's the main ground of the pack. And it's coming over here and hooking to this. Okay, and then on the other side of this, we got the same situation. This one comes straight up to here. This one comes straight up to here. And then this one goes back and jumps to the left. So see, I broke, see this? That hooks to there and goes back to right here. All right, and then so this one's obviously gonna be the same. This will be straight right here. This one will come over and kick over, which is here. I ground it off, and this one is coming up into right here. Same thing, 
This one's going to come up. This one's going to come up and over to here. And this one's going to be right here. So the one thing I didn't try is I, uh, you know, I went negative here, positive here. Um, I did not try like negative jumped right from right here to the main positive and just straight up eliminating the board. The board is what's causing the problem. It's a BMS battery management system. And so what happens is if you run your battery too low, you know, and then set it in the winter and it goes down below, I believe like 30 volts, then your charger can't recognize it. So what we're trying to do is get this battery charged up above 30, then our charger will recognize it. So the point of the video is to show you like how it's built and what I, what I think the best solution is, is if you hook to this main ground and then you hook to the main positive of the, of the whole pack, but you do it in a way that you're skipping this BMS, then I think you could charge the pack up enough to put it in the charger. So hopefully with this breakdown, you can find the main positive and main negative. So it should be um, a little easier to try and charge after seeing how it's actually built. All right, good luck. Oh, and I'll show you some of the... Try this backwards. Start that over there. Okay. So again, right here, oh, one last thing, this RST is a reset. If you get, let's see if I didn't lose it here, a little jumper wire like this. Before you do all this, you may be able to just, uh, I can't, I can't film it and do it, but basically you take this wire and put one end here and one end in here carefully and it'll jump that, which is like flipping a switch on and it'll reset it. So that'll reset the BMS. So that might be the first thing you try before you start fiddling with it. All right, good luck.